Hello everyone, so Next.js 13.4 was just released a month ago and it finally made the app router stable for production, which is one of the impressive features Next.js offers and that makes it one of the most popular frameworks for web development already. But as often happens, the early adoption of frameworks leads to compatibility issues with existing libraries and that is the case with styled components which at least for the next.js 13.4 using the app router and the swc compiler it doesn't really work with server-side rendering but there is a workaround to make it work uh, at least as it would in a normal react app using the client signed rendering and avoiding any bugs. So the problem is if you install styled components as you would in a normal React app and you try to use it, you will have the following problem. I have here a Next.js 13 app just to demonstrate. I'm compiling the page just a moment. And the problem is that the styles are injected after the first load of the page and that is happening because the HTML content the page is being rendered on the server but the styles they are being injected on the client so the workaround is mentioned here on the Next.js docu documentation and it's saying that we need to create a global registry component to collect all CSS style rules generated during a render and a function to return those rules. Then we use use server insert HTML hook to inject the styles collected in the registry into the head HTML tag in the root layout. So we need to create a registry TSX file in our app directory and then we need to wrap all our children components on or layout with this registry and that will make styled components work with Next.js 13. I just wanted to point out that if you are willing to create a Next.js 13 app, it's not recommended to use styled components. I mean, it's not the best option for styling because it doesn't work with server side rendering. This is a workaround that will make it render on the client side so you are not making use of the server side functionalities if you want to have server side styling you should use css models or tailwind css those are the best options for your app and this issue about this uh, this conflict of styled components and server-side rendering is mentioned in several issues on GitHub. Here you can see several people are facing the same problem. Okay, so I have a simple Next.js 13 app here. I just have this layout which has those three styled components, the body, a navbar, and links. And also you need to use this directive, the use client directive for styled components to work. To solve that, that bug we just seen, we need to do three things. The first is we need to go on, we need to go to our configuration file and on, on our next config, we need to have the following settings. We need to say react strict mode true and our compiler needs to have this option styled components true after we do that then we need to create our registry tsx file as we have seen here on the documentation where is it it's here i will just copy and paste this code here and I already know that instead of returning styles like this, I need, I can, I should return it like this. And now that we have our 
styled components registry, I need to go to my layout. I need to import it. And I need to wrap everything on my layout with this. So I will just do it here. Styled components registry. Now we save. Let's execute this. Hopefully this will work. Let's go to localhost 3000. So now the styles should be rendered only when the rest of the content is rendered. As you can see there is no more delay. The page and the styles are render, rendered at the same time. Let's try again. So that's it. Those are the three things you need to do. You need to configure your next config.js file. You need to create your registry TSX file here on the app directory. And you, you need to wrap everything in your layout with this styled components registry. This is how you configure styled components to work with the app router, the SWC compiler and Next.js 13.